Hey everyone, it's Liam here from Hexium. In this video, we're going to be looking at our selection of free Twitch panel templates. For those of you who want to create your own custom made panels, we'll walk through how to use our free panel maker tool. After that, we'll show you how to add those panels to your Twitch channel, along with helpful tips and tricks. To get started, go to the link in the video description or visit hexium.net and access the free panels from here. Scroll down until you see the free Twitch panel templates section. From here, you'll see a list of Twitch panels which are available for free in our store. Once you find one that you like, click the download button and you'll be taken to the product page. From here, you can add to cart and follow the checkout process. At the end of the checkout process, you'll be given a link to download the panels. Each panel pack comes with the Photoshop source files so you can customize the panels to suit your needs. Luckily, there's a free program called Photopeer which allows you to edit the Photoshop files. We plan to make an in-depth tutorial on editing our Twitch panels with Photopeer in the future. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out when the video drops. Now for those of you who would like more customization options, we've got our very own free panel maker tool. Let's take a look at how it works. There are four different tabs, each one with a different set of options. Starting with the layout tab, you can change the main background template using the dropdown. You'll see all changes updated in real time in the panel preview area. For softer or harder edges, you can alter the border radius. If you want to quickly position the text to the left, center or right, you can use these alignment buttons. For more precise control, use the position sliders to move the text position. There are also sliders to move the icon position and to scale it up or down. We'll show you soon how this icon can be enabled. Once you're happy with the general layout, move on to the text tab. From here, you can change the actual text displayed on the panel. You can also go ahead and change the font type, size or color, and even make the text italic. Now move on to the icon tab and enable the icon. Our list of pre-made icons can be selected using the icon picker. For special cases, you can even upload a custom icon from your computer. The icon should be a square image with equal width and height to get the best results. The icon can be displayed either before the text or after it using the alignment buttons. To change the icon positioning, switch back to the layout tab and use the position sliders. If the icon needs to be bigger or smaller, adjust the icon scale slider. Now for my favorite part, adding some cool effects to the text and icon. There are three different effects, a glitch effect, a drop shadow effect, and a glow effect. The glitch is a really cool effect to add to your panel. The intensity slider changes the amount of distortion applied to the text and icon. A drop shadow effect can be really helpful in making text stand out against a light background. To demonstrate this, I'm going to change the background to a lighter one. Now, I just need to adjust the effect to make the shadow more or less subtle. As you can see, the text is a lot harder to make out when the shadows are turned off versus when it's turned on. And finally, the glow effect adds a glowing color around the text and icon. When you're happy with the custom panel, all that's left to do is download it. Click on the save image button and you'll be prompted to download a PNG image. Now just repeat the process for as many panels as you need. Now that you've got some new panels for your channel, it's time to upload them. Head over to your Twitch channel page to get started. Select your profile avatar from the top right, then choose channel. Now on your channel page, change to the about tab. Scroll down a little bit, then toggle the edit panels button. You'll initially see a list of panel extensions, but scroll a little further and you'll see a big plus button to click. Then choose add text or image panel. You can enter a panel title, but if you're using a custom panel, then leave it blank. Select add image and locate the panel image you want to upload. Now, resize the viewable area to fit the entire panel and click done. You can even add a link to your panel. When your panel is clicked, visitors are taken to the given URL. Use this to link to your website, a tipping page, or a charity you care about. Add some text to the description area and hit submit to finish up. To see how your panel looks, disable edit panels toggle. Then scroll to view your newly added panel. Now, something we didn't go into detail on yet was the ability to use Markdown for the panel description. 
Markdown is used to create formatted text within the panel description. This includes things like adding headings, bullet points, hyperlinks, block quotes, and bold or italic text. Let's create an example description that utilizes all of these elements so you can see them in action. To create a heading, use the hash symbol before writing the text. One hash creates a large heading and two hashes create a smaller one. To mark some portions of text as bold, you just need to surround the text with two asterisks either side. To make the text italic, use just one asterisk for each side. Adding hyperlinks to your description is very useful, especially if you've got affiliate links or sponsors. To make hyperlink text, wrap the display text in square brackets. After that, you wrap the target link with parentheses. Okay, so next up is creating a bullet point list. This is a nice way to display a large list of things on your profile. Each new bullet point begins with the dash symbol followed by a single space, then your text. Hit enter to go to a new line and write the remaining bullet points. Block quotes are also used in Markdown to add some nice styling to portions of text. Just add a single greater than symbol followed by your text to create a block quote. Finally, adding a clickable email to your profile makes it easier for potential business partners to get in touch with you. To do this, simply wrap your email address with a less than and greater than sign. Let's submit these changes and take a look at how all this finished markdown looks. You can see this structured approach really makes your profile a lot easier to read. That just about wraps up this tutorial. If you found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you'll be recommended our helpful streaming tutorials in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.